we've got something around somewhere between 68 to 43 million people walking around solely in the US that are hyper eurosemic and not expressing gout, not having gout flares. So that's the first clue that the fact that you can have high uric acid and not have a gout flare. When you look at what the mean concentration of uric acid is in a person who's having gout, it literally is uh, approximately uh, 8.3 mg per deciliter, which I know we're getting a little technical here, but that's the top of the reference range. It's not outside it. And when you talk to a doctor about this stuff, which I did in 2016, they're like, ah, well, your uric acid is high and that's why you're having a gout attack. And when you look at my medical records, my, my uric acid in the clinic that day was, uh, because they did the blood analysis right there, was 8.1 mg per deciliter. I literally was at the top of the reference range. I was not outside it. And then furthermore, there's two other issues here. 